I removed the engine cover from this W220S500. I want you to take a close look at the valve covers in this air intake manifold. Can you see the corrosion? It's kind of a flaky white type of corrosion. It's not severe, but it is kind of ugly. And this is so common on these engines because these parts, the valve covers and this air intake are magnesium. And when magnesium is exposed to air and water, particularly if you're around a salt air environment, this can corrode very quickly. Well, it's not gonna create a huge problem, but cosmetically, I'd like to get rid of this. I'd like to take this valve cover over here and stabilize this corrosion so it looks a little bit like this. I and mean, I'm not gonna to try to make these look like show quality manifolds, but I am going to try to get them sealed up so they won't continue to corrode with this white stuff here. You can see if I just rub away at that, you see it, it kind of goes away. So I have three sealers I'm going to use. I'm gonna show you some pictures of uh, applying them, how I apply them. And then of course, I'm gonna to have to wait six to 12 months before I come back, pull the cover off the engine and show you which if any of the products work over the long haul. This will be a really interesting experiment and it's gonna to prove to me as well as to you, the viewer, just what product can work to solve the corrosion problem on this magnesium. I'm gonna start right here on this forward section of the right side valve cover. You can see this when I open the hood of the car. I'm gonna use three products. I'm gonna use a metal sealer, I'm going to use a metal lubricant, and then I'm gonna use a metal wax. Each one has a little bit different properties to it. And I'm gonna start right here with the metal sealer. I'm going to use combination sponge and Scotch-Brite pad like this. This will hold a sealer as I rub it because I'm going to actually clean it with the sealer. I'm not gonna use any acidic type of cleaner and we'll use that sealer as a cleaner and then we'll come back and wipe a final coat over it to kind of put a double coat on it. But we'll just start right in here. You can see the sealer immediately starts acting as a cleaner. And by using this pad right here, this is not as you know, coarse as some of them. You don't want a real coarse one. You don't want to scratch the magnesium. So once I start scrubbing away here on this, this will get into the pores and get all of that corrosion out of there. I'm gonna wipe a little bit of this off so you can just see how dirty this is. See? Not too bad, but you can see I'm pulling up a little bit of magnesium on that rag. I may do this three times. I actually let the, the sealer soak on here. Come back and scrub a little bit more. Look at how it's cleaning that discoloration right there. Once again, I'm not trying to get this perfect, but you can tell if I wipe this down and this dries off, this is pretty much how it's going to dry. Look how much better that looks than this up here. So I'm gonna finish this section right in here, and then I'll come back and kind of show you the final result here after it has sat for a day and the sealer has dried. It's been three days since I coated this section of the right side valve cover with that metal sealer. Now the metal sealer, a little bit like a varnish, but it doesn't go on very thick, it goes on very thin and it dries super hard. And I've noticed as I've used it in other places, it doesn't scratch off very easily. You can see some of the little spots of corrosion still underneath this sealer, but I'm gonna leave this now for a few months and let's see how it does. Now let's go up to the top of the intake manifold and I'm gonna show you the other two products I'm going to use and the end results. Let me explain in a little more detail the two products I'm using on the top of this intake manifold. Number one, this is a anti-corrosive gel. So it's a little bit like a grease and it goes on like a grease. It leaves a little bit of a greasy film. You can see here I've already started and I'll get back to that here in a minute. And then on the, the second half or the rear half of the manifold, I'm gonna be using what's called a metal wax. This goes on quite a bit like a cleaner wax, and you'll watch as I use a Scotch-Brite pad to kind of scrub this, this metal wax into the magnesium. I've started on this, and I've rubbed quite a bit, and it's starting to look pretty nice. If I wanted to take the time and continue to work this Scotch-Brite pad with the anti-corrosive gel, I could get most of this spotting out of here. It's going to be tough to get some of this deep 
dark spots out of it, but you don't want to use any kind of an acid on this magnesium because it's going to be really hard to neutralize it and stop any future acidic reaction here. Let's come over now on this side, the side that I haven't done with the anti-corrosion gel, and I'm going to show you how I work this. And when we're done with that, then we'll move on and I'll show you how I'm going to use a metal wax. This gel is very easy to apply using a Scotch-Brite pad. You can take it and put a nice little gob on the edge and then just work it in. A little bit of rubbing will loosen up that corrosion. And like I said earlier, the more you rub, the shinier it's going to get. So you're going to have to decide how far you want to go on this. If you wanted to make this perfect, you'd probably have to pull this wiring harness off, but I'm not going to do that. I'll get an acid brush and just get some of this and work down in the cracks down here just to prevent corrosion. But for this section here, I'll keep rubbing on this to make it look as, well, as nice as I want it, all right? And I'll do the whole other half over to that side. Now I'm going to stop here, even though I'm not done, and explain that when I'm all done with this, I'll wipe it down, get all that excess metal powder off, and then I'll come in here and just using a rag, I'm going to put a light coat of the gel on there and not rub it completely off. See, I'm still taking a little bit of material off here, so... Alright, now you can get, kind of get an idea where I'm going to leave this. I'll keep working down in here, but I'll do that later. And right now I'm going to go ahead and move to the back section and we'll try the metal wax to see how it attacks the corrosion here. The metal wax is quite a bit thinner than the gel, so you can just take and pour a little bit on. Let's see how this does. Now right away you can see this does take off some metal particles, but it does not do the same deep cleaning that the gel did here at the front of the manifold. But remember, I'm more concerned about protection here than I am about how it looks. And the other thing is the, the metal wax dries out very quickly. But it does get down into the pores of this magnesium, and you can see it does clean off that mild corrosion. Now, some of you may be asking, well, why bother to do this? Well, there's a couple places. Look right here. There's some really heavy pitting that I had to scrape off. I actually had to use a razor blade. It was so bad here. And then there's some pretty heavy pitting over on this side. So, you know, preventing the corrosion will prevent you from ever having to replace these parts, particularly if you live in an area where there's salt. This could get really bad. So you do want to keep an eye on this and keep it protected from excessive corrosion. Same thing here, I'll finish this up and when I'm all done scrubbing I'll just put a, a light coat of wax on like this and let it dry and once that's done I'll come back and give you an overall view of what we've done so you can see this and compare it to what I'm going to show you in three to six months. So let me give you an overview of the completed job. In review we put a sealer on this section of the valve cover. On the forward section of the manifold we used a gel. It was called an anti-corrosive gel, special product. And back here on the rear we used a metal wax, a wax formula specifically for metal. Now I've not done any chemical analysis as to how effective this is with magnesium, but we're going to find out. Now some of you may notice right here that I have not done anything with this breather cover. Well, the reason is I'm going to be removing this breather cover to fix an oil leak and I'm going to be shooting a video on this. So if you're working on one of these engines, you have a M112 or M113, either V6 or V8, and you notice you've got oil leaks along the top of the valve cover, either here or over there, it's probably due to a leaking breather cover. There's no gasket in there. It has to use a special sealer. And because this is magnesium, I believe it's one reason why these do leak. So I've come up with a kit with all the things that you'll need to do this yourself and to fix it right so it won't be leaking again in the future. These are very, very prone to oil leak. All right, so we're going to put 
The cover's back on after I fix this leak. We're going to drive this for three, four, five, six months. I'm not sure. I want to drive it long enough to get an indication of any returning corrosion on the magnesium. I'll actually probably put some moisture water in here to try to accelerate it if I can. And when I see that, I'll come back and report to you. So don't expect a repeat video on this very soon, but I'll get back to you as soon as I determine which product is the best product to minimize corrosion on this magnesium.